Hi everyone. The next topic that we are discussing is So what exactly this particular concept is? Right? So sometimes what happens is, you know, based on your particular requirement, you have to fetch the data from the database table on a larger node. So what do you mean by that? So assume the case for my required, you know, input. So based on my required input. So if I execute the program, let's say my particular program or my code is fetching almost millions of records. Let's say 10 lakhs records. 10 lakhs records are there in this table and based on my input. Of course, when I say input that, either, that can be select optional parameter, my particular select query is fetching lakhs of records. Definitely that will kill the performance and sometimes even your program, it may go into down. Definitely the, pro, the, the that particular select query, it, it will take longer time and definitely it will go to dump sometimes. So to avoid that situation, we have a concept called cursors, open cursor. So by using this particular technology, right? We can get the number of records. Of course, we call it as technically speaking. We call it as packets. Right, so we can split the number of records into packets. For example, let's say 10 lakhs records are coming from the database table into my internal table. Now my internal table is not sufficient or at least my select query is taking a lot of time or sometimes it, it is going for dump, right? In that case, just fetch the data in the packets or in the packages and let's see how to do that, right? So let me take a small example. This is a short video. G cursors. Just data with packets. Packets. So make sure this is an executable program and the status is customer production program. At least for now, this is let's say sales and distribution requirement. And of course, I don't I'm not going with any other issue for now. Okay. Oh. Okay, let me save it in the local object. Right. So no standard page setting. So I'm just going with the basic example ST underscore VBAP. ST underscore VBAP. VBLN type VBL underscore VA. PR name type PR. Sorry, I don't think in VR VBAP will be having this. Postnar type Postnar underscore VA. And the next field that I'm taking is Matna type Mat. That's it. So now let me create the internal table. Type table of ST underscore VAP. That's it. Now select options S underscore sales is for. I have to go with like this. So if I go like this, what happens is I don't know what is this thing. VBAK is unknown. That is what it's saying. So I have to go with tables VBAK. I have to define the tables here. So if you are not comfortable or if you are not OK with this, so simply create a local reference. Let me even create it. So LV underscore VBLN, which is of type same data element. Now this is the local reference. Now happily you can use this here. That's it. So let me save the program. Syntax check and activate the program. Yeah, at least for now, this is fine. Now, sorry. Out of selection. Now let me read this category. Select. PBLN, Postnar, Matnar from VBAP table, IT underscore VBAP, where VBLN in S underscore sales. If S of C is equal to zero, CL underscore 
demo underscore output display method call it so i don't want to go with the right and all so this thing is done so now let me execute the program let me take the database reference which is sdr okay Okay. Now I think probably tomorrow we'll be talking on this. We call it as field exit. Yeah, don't worry. So now I don't want this. So sales order. Let me activate it. Go back. This my part is done. Now just simply execute the program. And of course, I don't want to give anything here. So this is the primary difference between select option and a parameter. In select option, if you don't give anything and if you still execute the program, so it will consider all the data from the table. See? I got all the data from VBAP table. So let me go back to the table here once. Let me execute this table. Let, sorry. So the maximum number of records are 19,000 some. What is this number? I just saw it now. Okay, 19,138 records. So all these records are fetched and we have displayed them. We have displayed them. So all the records are fetched, we have displayed them. Now, the point is so, how can you confirm that, uh, like whether we really got all the data or not? So just go here, execute, execute. See here, so the moment when I say F6, so how many records that we have here? How many records that we have here? 19,138 records and three columns. So we are displaying all of them by using this particular standard class and method. So yes, this got clear. Now, assume the case, let's say I have more records. In that case, sometimes your select query takes longer time than usual. And sometimes it may end up in short dump. Dump, right? So to avoid that case, so we have an option of cursors, open cursor. So now let me comment the whole story and let me write the logic here. Later we'll compare and we'll walk through it. So first we have to start with. So the way how we have like files concept, open data set, close data set. When I say data set, it's a file, right? Same way. Open cursor and let's let's have some name to the cursor. Uh, let me say cur. And I have to define it for sure. And I have to define it. So let me come here. Cur type cursor. Open cursor. For select, so what is the select? So now I am expecting these three fields in my select query. Open cursor, some cursor name. For for what purpose you have opened this cursor? I just have opened this cursor for this particular select. Right. Where? Sorry. From PBAP. Where? PBLN in S underscore sales. That's it. So here, if you really observe it, okay, let me put on. So see, see here, if you really observe, everything is same. Selecting the fields and from which table and where condition. But one thing is missed. That is what into table. So we are not storing it now. So now the moment when I start open cursor, immediately I always prefer to go with this. Those cursor. So in between, if at all you want to do something, just do it. Now to end do. Now let me take unconditional do here. So fetch next cursor. So fetch next cursor. The cursor is this one. Appending table it underscore pbap. Now here. Package size, right? So 
what I'll say some underscore p underscore pack. So let me type. Okay. If that's not equal to zero, only then go for exit. That's it. Right. Now what I'll do is so even I'll also define this. So happily you can select thousand. So per set thousand records. So first fetch thousand records and move them to this internal table. And again, next cursor, move them to this. Again, next, 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 next. Do do as many times as we have the records. Finally, exit the do when we don't have any records left over to fetch. Right. So now I, I don't want to even hard code this. So I'll go with one parameter. Type. It. So now let us see and here let me write the logic. If it underscore VBAP is sorry is not initial. Now let me I'll try to debug the code as well so that it will be very easy for you to understand the whole context. Pretty printer. Let me activate the code. Nothing we have done. We have just opened the cursor. We just have closed the cursor. So by opening it, right? So we have opened the cursor for what? We have opened this cursor for this particular cell query. But here you will not have any into statement into this internal table and all. So you will not have this. Right. Now here do and do. So now fetch next cursor and append them to this particular internal table for these packages. So we will see it like if you if we see it in the debug, you know, we'll get to know. So now let me keep my cursor. Here. Let, let me keep my breakpoint here. And let me execute the show. And now I don't want to give anything here. I want all the records from VBAP table. Just sometime like we saw them, right? We have 19,138 records. In this particular table, let's see. But now here, if I go here, right? So I just wanted to run this particular um, program for four for four thousand packets, right? So let me execute it. Since if you don't give anything in the select options, we know it, right? It will fetch all the data, right? I want. All the data to be fetched. Now see, we have not given anything here, so we need all the data from VBAP table, right? So now nothing is filled here. Nothing is filled. I just want you to focus on this. I want you to focus on this, please. Now I'm just coming into do fetch next cursor, and once the fetch is done, append those values to this particular internal table. And now how many records that you are clearly mentioning that particular cursor to fetch? So you have mentioned it as fetch 4000 records. OK, now let me say F5. The moment it is done. The moment it is done. How many records are fetched here? 4000 records are fetched. 4000 records are fetched. Next F5. One more time. Now this time, the second time we are at, right? One more 4000 will be fetched and those will be appended to the same internal table FI. So now how many we got here? Total 8000. 8000. 8000, right? So now one more fetch. So total it has turned into 12000. One more fetch. It has turned into 16000 records now. Now last fetch because ideally the moment if we have the data right it should become 20000 but we don't have 20000 records in the table we saw it already we have 19138 records now what will happen let's just see it here now if i click on f5 it turned into 19138 because it does not have the remaining 4000 set so by this the entire fetch is completed now f5 F5, but this time now this time you see again it tries to fetch the data, but what happened? Size of RC is failed. 
Sai Sabarsi is failed. Now, since Sai Sabarsi is not equal to zero, we are just exiting from the do. We just exit from the do. Right? Now, if you look at your internal table, how many records that you have? You got all the records. So it's a simple thing, right? Sometimes, uh, of course, you may face this situation in the company or in the real time. So what all you need to do is, so sometimes based on your input, if you are fetch, if you are trying to fetch more records, like millions of records, definitely the select query performance will be very down. So sometimes it may end up by giving the short dump also dumps st22 runtime errors so in that case so it is always recommended to go with packet size so how many records that we have to fetch at a time so that you need to check with your analyst or business so this is straightforward very simple concept so do like this and of course your table is filled with the exact data i hope this is so clear now let me say f8 Yeah, I got the data. This is what the context is. So I hope this is clear. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.